A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. Son of man, say to the house of Israel, you are continually saying our sins and crimes weigh heavenly on us. We are wasting away because of them. How are we to go on living? Say to them, as I live, it is the Lord who speaks. I take pleasure not in the death of a wicked man, but in the turning back of a wicked man who changes his ways to win life. Come back, come back from your evil ways. Why are you so anxious to die, house of Israel? The word of the Lord. Can dust give you praise or proclaim your truth? Out of the depths of the world in pain we cry. Raise up the fallen, O God, our help. Give light to those whose lives are sunk in violence and degradation. Give trust to those who feel they have no reason to trust. Give hope to those whose lives have lost their meaning. Give reconciliation to those who are at odds with one another. And the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, hello. Welcome to this Friday of the first week of Lent and taking advantage of a brief spell of beautiful sunshine. As we look at uh, some of the readings for today, I'd like to read from the book of the prophet of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, if the wicked man renounces all the sins he has committed, respects my laws, and is law-abiding and honest, he will certainly live. He will not die, all the sins he committed will be forgotten from then on. He shall live because of the integrity he has practiced. What, am I likely to take pleasure in the death of a wicked man? It is the Lord who speaks and prefer not to see him renounce his wickedness and live. 
But if the upright man renounces his, in his integrity, commits sin, copies the wicked man and practices every kind of filth, is he to live? All the integrity he has practiced shall be forgotten from then on. But this is because he himself has broken faith and committed sin. And for this he shall die. But you object. What the Lord does is unjust. Listen, you house of Israel. Is what I do unjust? Is it not what you do that is unjust? When the upright man renounces his integrity to commit sin and dies because of this, he dies because of the evil he has himself committed. When the sinner renounces sin to become law-abiding and honest, he deserves to live. He has chosen to renounce all his previous sins. He shall certainly live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. And today's readings from the Holy Gospel at Mass are according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your virtue, virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. You have learned how it was said to our ancestors, you must not kill. And if anyone does kill, he must answer for it because before the court. But I say this to you, anyone who is angry with his brother will answer for it before the court. If a man calls his brother fool, he will answer for it before the Sanhedrin. And if a man calls him renegade, he will answer for it in the hellfire. So then, if you are bringing your offerings to the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering before the altar. Go and be reconciled with your brother first, then come back and present your offering. Come to terms with your opponent in good time while you are still on the way to the court with him. Or he may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the officer and you will be thrown into prison. I tell you solemnly, you will not get out till you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord.